Have you struggled with fear? Have you been overwhelmed by worry? Do you easily get intimidated by circumstances? Do your thoughts spiral down into a black hole of anxiety? Does your faith seem to melt away when fear hits? Fear, worry, and anxiety are epidemic, so this week you are going to learn a new strategy to overcome fear. Welcome back to our Change How You Think weekly video podcast. If you'd like to hear from us every week, then subscribe to our videos on YouTube or click on the weekly video tab at the top of this web page. Fill in the subscription form and you'll get our free self-assessment ebook, Healthy Moods, along with your choice of mental, spiritual, or relationship information. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, it contains the famous story of David and Goliath. Goliath was an intimidating Philistine giant who threatened and terrorized the army of Israel to the extent that they were paralyzed by fear and immobilized. David walked in from the farm and was not affected by their fear. He was filled with faith, so he killed Goliath in front of all the frightened soldiers. So what can we learn from this story? Goliath represents the enemy spirit of fear, which always wants to intimidate and terrorize its victims. Goliath shouted threats at Israel and paralyzed them. The spirit of fear shouts in the same way to paralyze you. Its main goal is to neutralize your faith by distracting you from your relationship with God and make you feel powerless, overwhelmed, hopeless, vulnerable, and afraid. The enemy throws his threatening lies at you, hoping you will believe them and start to fear. Lies like, There's only one possible outcome to this situation, the worst one. He just loves to watch you squirm when you take the bait. As long as Goliath was unopposed, he kept shouting. The spirit of fear will continue to torment you until you fight back. So how do you fight back? The first step is to assess yourself for anxiety disorder. That's a physical condition where you can't shut off anxious thoughts. There's a link on this page that will take you to a self-assessment checklist where you can determine if you need medications to control your anxiety. David wasn't intimidated by Goliath because he was listening to the Spirit of God encouraging him to fight, not the spirit of fear which was paralyzing the army. David had cultivated a close relationship with God as a shepherd, so he was able to hear God's voice to guide him fearlessly through the crisis. We now have an advantage over the spirit of fear that's even better than what David had. Every believer, that's you, now has the Holy Spirit resident in them. He is stronger than the spirit of fear. When we listen to his truth rather than the lies of the enemy, we can do the impossible. One time when I was struggling with fear, God spoke to me and said, When you are afraid, you have stopped listening to my voice. Why would you choose to listen to a tormenting voice rather than my voice of calm reassurance? I realized that I actually have a choice when being attacked by fear. Remember, the voice of the Holy Spirit is quiet while the spirit of fear shouts at you like Goliath. The more time you spend in God's presence on a daily basis in your quiet time, the more familiar you will be with His calm, quiet voice, and the easier it will be to listen to His comforting words over the shouts of the enemy. So, the next time you are attacked by fear, choose which voice you will listen to and defeat the Goliath of fear. If you'd like to learn more tools to overcome fear, come join us in Free Your Mind and do the course, Three Keys to Overcoming Fear, Worry, and Anxiety. Free Your Mind is an online self-study program that will help you change how you think. It will guide you through a pathway of healing mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Through 15-minute videos, regular live group coaching calls, an online community forum, and 24-hour access to our entire video library, you can work at your own speed, anytime, from anywhere in the world, on any device, to bring the life-changing transformation you've been looking for. You can learn more about it using the links below this video. We'll talk to you next week, but this week, cut off Goliath's head and listen to God's voice.